Let's get it started. What up? It's your boy, Uncle Jesse, a.k.a. Cardboard Moses. Uh, hopefully, we all had a great weekend, uh, especially the Patriots fans. You know, shout-outs to y'all. But football season is over. So, uh, let's move on to the next thing, and that is baseball, baby. April will be here before you know it. Uh, but let's go ahead and get a little taste of that right now. 2019 Top Series 1 Baseball Hobby Half Case. Number six. Alrighty. So yeah, I, I I'm just curious to see what uh, what Brian Flores can bring to the table. Uh, what's up, Ra Ra? Uh, come, come on, man. P pretend pretend like you've been there before, man. Come on, P pretend like you've won a championship before in your life. All right, that should be good there. What up, Migs? I mean, I'm pretty sure we all knew he was the GOAT. But, like, now, there's really, like, no discussion, I guess. Uh, I don't care, though. What, what, are there, like, the, what, what is it, the five stages of grieving or something like that? Six stages? I don't know. I don't know how many stages they are. there are. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, I, I don't care anymore. I have now given up hatred. I no longer hate the Patriots or Tom Brady for that matter. I'm kind of just like, I'm kind of just over it. I, I don't, I, I just do not care. I don't care anymore. Acceptance? Yeah, I, I, is that the last stage? Is that the last stage? I hope so. I'm, I'm, I'm about ready. Uh, all you have to do when you have a uh, franchise quarterback is get an offensive line that won't let him get touched. Mm, I mean, listen, not for nothing. The Patriots just have the best coach and staff probably in all of football. So they're always going to come prepared to play. Uh, my thing is, I, I don't think they're, like, necessarily a great offensive line. Tom Brady just gets rid of that football ASAP. All their play, all their offense is run out of the shotgun. So, right there, Brady already has, like, an extra second to get rid of the football because he's a shotgun every dang time. And every pass play is for, like, five yards. It's all slants and hitch routes. And 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 uh, and the screen passes, you know. Every now and then he'll take a shot deep, like maybe once or twice a quarter. But let's not pretend like he has the greatest offensive line. No, it's 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 decent. It does its job, just like any Bill Belichick team is supposed to. Just do your job. Bill Belichick is the best coach of any sport at any time in the history of time. Mm, I can't think of a... Well, I would think maybe Red Auerbach. Back in the 50s and 60s with the Celtics, back when they used to win uh, damn near everything. I think they won like 10 NBA championships or something. I'm pretty sure that was pretty awesome. Uh, of modern times, I would have to agree, though. I would have to agree. You know, there's Joe to yeah, Joe Torres with the Yankees. You know, the back when the Yankees were running things. Uh, again, hashtag uh, Ra Ra knows. Hashtag I don't care. I, I really don't. You know, I had myself an epiphany yesterday. And that epiphany was, I don't play for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, I, matter of fact, I don't play for any NFL team. So why should I have hatred in my heart? There, there, there's no money involved. I don't bet. So I asked myself yesterday, I said, Jesse, why do you hate the Patriots? And then, you know, I, c I couldn't answer. Couldn't answer myself. So, yeah. I, I, I no longer care. I, I am indifferent. 
Tom Brady who? Anyway, let's see what we got here. Oh, great. I got to just to focus on this now. All right, here we go. That looks... That'll do right there. Hopefully it doesn't like adjust automatically. Who are my favorite teams? Uh, the Miami Heat, the Miami Dolphins, and I would have to say the Miami Marlins because I do rep my city. All right, Jose Abreu of the White Sox. That should be a short print, and it is code 67. Oh no! Listen, Ra Ra, it's 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 great. You know, awesome for the city of New England and its fans and, you know, Tom Brady and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, you know, you're right. He's probably the greatest quarterback of all time. I don't think it's a discussion any longer. The man is just freaking awesome. I think I'm going to try to separate these. By stadium too, if I can. I mean, this break took me like an hour last night, so I'm definitely trying to do it faster than that. So if all you if all you hear is the sound of me breathing, that's because I'm concentrating, I'm focused, muscle fat, always sunny. Yankees 2019. Let's hope uh, we can hit us an autograph here. But yeah, I was just really more so disappointed in the game, man. It, it was just a really boring game. It, it was, it was defensive, and mind you, I like defensive games, but like not for the Super Bowl. You know, supposed to be the two best teams in each conference. You duke it out. But yeah, Patriots should be favored <laughs> to win the uh, World Series next season. They should be. They should be honestly favored every year. Like I, I, I think it's now people need to start really giving that man his respect in that organization. Just do not count out the Patriots ever. Regular season is one thing, but in that postseason though. Them boys be balling. I was thinking too, I was like, man, I bet Drew Brees wouldn't allow this to, to happen. Eddie Rosario, Twins 2019. If, if Drew Brees was in the Super Bowl, that thing would have been a shootout. But the way that Patriots defense played last night, it, it would not have mattered who was out there. Belichick would have adjusted regardless of who they were playing. So now I'm hoping a little bit of that Patriots uh, way can rub off on the Dolphins. Dolphins announced Brian Flores as their new head coach, who was the uh, linebacker coach for the Patriots. Wilson Contreras Cubs 2019. So, yeah, we'll see what happens this upcoming season. The draft is right around the corner. So that's going to be interesting. We already uh, we cut Ryan Tannehill. Well, not officially, but we plan on it anyway. That's going to be, it's about damn time. Two years too late, if you ask me. We could have been started the uh, rebuilding process. And I, I honestly wish we had kept Jarvis Landry. Even if we would have overpaid him just, just a tad, that man is worth it. He's honestly one of the best receivers in the NFL.
I don't think there's anybody in the NFL that I would trust more throwing the ball to than Jarvis, honestly. that The, the man catches everything. Only knock is he's just he's he's not as he's not he's not fast. Anyway, Salvador Perez, Royals patch. Well, Blob, if you send me a Super Bowl champs T-shirt, uh, the old me would have burned it or something like that. But see, that doesn't you know that doesn't do anybody any good. You know, you, you one you wasted your money. Uh, two. You know, I, I did a little negative on the uh, the old ozone layer, and uh, that's no bueno for all of us. So if you do decide to send me a shirt, I'll just give it to some homeless dude. Yankees win 2019 insert there. You know, it'll go to a good cause. I won't wear it ever. You know, but the homeless dude, you know, he'll he'll definitely rock the crap out of it. Or do that, you know. I'll give it to a do that, you know, whatever. Jacob the Groom, 19 minutes. Ah, football season is over. What the heck are we going to do with our lives now? What up, Marcello? What the heck are we going to do with our lives now that football is over? organization yeah Marcello I, I agree man it, it was not fun as a fan as a football fan I, I did not enjoy field goals and punts but the better team won I, I don't think anybody can argue that Migs, the Dolphins trade for Jacoby Brissett? Uh, I don't know about that. I think we're going to try to draft the quarterback. Either Kyler Murray or the kid from Ohio State. But I've also read reports that the Dolphins are looking towards the 2020 draft to pick up a quarterback. Maybe that kid from Alabama to... Uh, or if Sunshine from Clemson decides to come out, you know, probably him. He's probably one of the better quarterbacks in the country. Isn't Jacoby Brissett a Colt? I don't think he's going anywhere. Even though Andrew Luck had a really good season here, bounce, bouncing back from his injury. Jacoby Brissett's a nice little security blanket. Uh... Yeah, I know he used to play for the Patriots. I, I kind of more so would like to see the Dolphins take a chance at, like, uh, Nick Foles. Or, or, you know what I mean? Like a veteran quarterback. If you want to draft one in 2020, you know, whatever. Sure, go for it. But I, I like Nick Foles. I like Nick Foles a lot. So even if we got to overpay him a little bit, which Miami will surely do because that's just how we do. We don't care. I'll take it. Honestly. But we need we need a lot of help, man. We need help on that D-line. Even though we were injured a lot last year, like all across the board. I don't like using that as an excuse. Because every team goes through injuries. So we just got to work on that depth. We got to draft draft some uh, defensive linemen. I think we're good at linebacker. I also think we're pretty good at uh, corners. So we shall see. Albert Pujols, Angels patch. Now, you know, in a few weeks now, everybody's, you know, especially during the draft, everybody, like, resets, and everybody thinks, oh, we got a chance this year, man. I know I do. I, I say the same thing every year. Oh, this is the Dolphins' time, man. You know, watch out, bro. We got it this year. Nope. No, no, we don't. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to, to, to help. But anyway, baseball season coming up. 
I'm looking forward to watching uh, baseball this season. I, I can't tell you the last time I sat and watched, like, or even attempted to watch a whole season of baseball. What's cool about baseball is, though, like, they have games, like, during the day, afternoon, at night, so... You know, there's always some some form of baseball going on, and it's year round too. There's, there's you know all the other leagues are playing and whatnot. McCann for the Astros, 2019. What's up, Matt? Uh, dude, I you know I, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't have a hangover of some sort right now. Uh, which is why I slept in. <laughs> I slept probably more than I should have, but the uh, the what you call it, the hangover is more or less gone. I just gotta get you know rehydrate, drink some water. It was a coke and rum kind of night. I was sipping them bad boys all night. Yeah, 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 it was it was nice. It was nice. Anyways, Michael Conforto Mets. I'm pretty sure that's a short print, and indeed it is. Code six seven. It gets worse after thirty. I figured, you know, it, it, it's starting to hit me. Honestly, like I'm I'm 29. I'm gonna be 30 in November. Um, but already I can like I can feel. Like just certain things, like even like getting out of the car, cause I have a, I have a Honda Civic. It's a coupe. You know, it's a, it's a relatively small car, especially for a dude my size. You know, I should probably be driving a Charger or something. But I, you know, I like my little economical Civic. You know what I'm saying? And not for nothing, growing up, I I always wanted a Civic, so that's what I did. So anyway. Even getting in that, or, or getting out of it, is like a hassle now. Heavy bias, 2019 Cubs. It's not Rip City after dark, so I can't say what I want to say right now. But you know, certain things also become a hassle. And I think y'all catch my drift. Uh, here you know, Suarez to 25 for the Reds. Uh, drinking that brown, that's right, man. You know, you know what they say, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they say. They say a lot of things. It goes down with the brown? I, I don't know. Got a tuck and roll. <laughs> that's something that's, po that's more or less kind of what I do to get, <laughs> to get out the car. Uh, Mookie Betts, Red Sox 2019. But yeah, this time thing is crazy, man. I gotta random these cleats here. I saw a friend of mine that I haven't seen in a couple years. And his kid, he has a kid. And uh, his name is Leo. He's like, I want to say Justin Borhead to 50 for the Phillies. He's like four or five right now. And the kid is like speaking to me. And he still remembers me, which is crazy. He's, you know, they're having a full-on conversation. Hey, Uncle Jesse. And I'm like, oh, snap, you can talk now. I remember when I used to change your diaper, son. Kyle Tarker. That's a short print. You want a Tesla? Dude, I wouldn't mind having a Tesla. But uh, I wouldn't mind having the money to afford a Tesla either. You know, One step at a time. I mean, not for nothing, my Civic is pretty pretty awesome with the MPG. I get close to 30 miles per gallon. And 20 bucks fills the tank, more or less. No, 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 Rockies. A full tank of gas gets me close to 400 miles. So I can get, I can, I can drive all the way to Orlando on one tank of gas and still have plenty to spare. Yeah, I love my car. I love my baby. Her name is Dahlia. Mm, 
Uh, short shoot. I'm sorry, there were two short prints in that box. In this box, I should say. As we wrap it up here, what up, Big Greg? A dynamic duo Astros 2019. How much does a Tesla go for anyway? I gotta, I gotta, I would have to think at least 80 grand. I always wanted a GTR. That's like my favorite car. The uh, the old Nissan Skyline. Now pretty soon all the cars are going to be electric. All right, where the heck do I put this though? Hmm. All right, I'm just going to have to make space. There we go. That needs to get random, so put that on the side there. What up, Doug? I 100K plus for a Tesla? Sheesh. But it's, it'll probably be worth the money in the long run. Or maybe not. I wonder what maintenance is like on that thing. Because you, you would probably have to go to the, the Tesla dealership to get everything uh, for you know for as far as maintenance on that bad boy. I don't think you can go to your, your, your local Tires Plus or whatever and uh, get an oil change there. But aren't Teslas all electric? And you might get like a tax rebate or something. A deduction or some kind because you have an all electric car. I think that's a thing. How did Jason do this thing in half an hour? That's what I want to know. I think he opens all the packs up at the beginning, huh? He opens all the packs up and then he just runs through it. That's what he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he packs stacks. That's, yeah. Should have figured. I should, I should do it. Too late in the game to do that now. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, snap. That's what I was afraid of. Leaving and going. Yeah, that's, that is the way. I don't, I'm a little bit more anal about that stuff than he is. We got our Pujols Angels patch. So, Rara, are you going to the parade? I mean, you got to go to the parade. I'm pretty sure it's old for you by now, though. You know, the parade is, you know, whatever. Another parade? Nah, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just go to next year's.
got rid of that. Not to self pack stack this stuff. Juan Soto Nationals twenty nineteen. I could use some coffee. Brett Phillips, 2019 Royals. Man, that's got to be a short print. Look at, that, look at this sexy pose here. Reggie Jackson of the Yankees. Looking all seductive. That's a code 68. That's a super short print. I'm going to take a picture of this. This thing is hilarious. <laughs> Look at that. Looking like a GQ model or something. Another short print. For Jake Bowers with a raise. Code six seven, so yes indeedy. Two short print, well one short print and a super short print in this box. I will say I like that about the hobby. Is that they have about at least that's what it seems like anyway. Uh, there's like one short print per box and hobby and then you either gonna get an autograph or a relic Christian Yelich of the Brewers but as far as the jumbo side of things you do get one auto and two relics per box but the short prints are not one per box in jumbo so there's a bit of a, a trade-off here and there short prints are cool looking though I'll dig it Reprints here. Adolis Garcia, Cardinals twenty nineteen. the code so if you look at the back of the card you probably can't see it but uh, here let me fix this here so you can actually see it all right there you go so you notice right there on the very bottom of the card right next to the website tops there's a code Hashtag CMP. The number 10, the last two numbers is what you're looking at. So 1-0 means it's a base card. Right? That's a base card. You can't or can't really see it, but this is a short print on the front. You can tell right there on the back, 6-7. So that's a short print. And the super short prints are 68. So... Yeah, the only way to really know is to just look at the back of the card. I have a gift, or better yet, I've 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 been uh, I've been punished enough with this that I can look at the card and be like, okay, that's a short print or whatever. Max Scherzer, twenty nineteen, Nationals. Ooh, 
Zach Cozart of the Angels to 67. But I mean, as far as the short prints and the super short prints, you can just look at the card and tell, like, hey, that's different. You know, they'll either be out of uniform with like a hat off or like a war, you know, with a, in a warm up. See, like this one, you can just tell that's a short print. Max Scherzer, code 67. So, yep, it is indeed a short print. It also helps, you know, looking at cards over and over and over again. You know, eventually you'll see enough of it where it's like, okay, well, I know that's a base card. But that one looks a little different. Hopefully I did this right. Yep, looks like it. Cool Z's. So how was everyone's Super Bowl last night? Did anybody else have like a little shindig, you know, a little, a little party, a little get together? Any 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 of that go down last night for you party animals? Definitely got a pack to stack this next time. Fancy had wings and ribs. Nice. Hopefully some adult beverages to wash it down. Nice, fancy. I had about like half of that, like eight friends and whatnot. Had us a little BBQ, a little barbecue. Straight meat. It was straight steaks. Sirloins, ribeyes. It was awesome. I was getting the meat sweats. What up, Joe Pop? Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Not because the Patriots won. It's just it was just a boring game. Dang fancy. Very nice. I should I should have came to your house. Alright, what do we got here? That's a short print. Moogie Betts, Red Sox, code 67. You know, defense is cool, but you know, they, they don't they don't even let them boys hit anymore. Like I remember there was a play uh, where a New England receiver caught the ball. And was tackled like immediately after he caught it, and they called that thing a, a rough in the or, or hitting a defenseless a defenseless receiver. Like what? Like come on! Isn't the whole point of football to hit the other dude so that he doesn't catch the ball or whatever? Like come on! It was a clean tackle too, but whatever. Not like that affected the game or anything, but it, it was just man. Let 
We're not playing football. We're, we're, we're playing a two-man touch out here. Two-man touch below the waist. It's ridiculous. Andrew Miller, Indians 2019. I'm actually looking forward to the XFL. I might just stop watching the NFL. It's the same thing every year. Uh, short print codes are 6-7, and the super short print code is 6-8. The Dodgers insert Oh, the XFL? I think next year, like they announced it, like they made it official this year. They had like a press conference and stuff for it. Um, but I think it's next year that, uh, that it's actually going to start. Hopefully they bring the, na the nicknames on the back of the jerseys back. Like he hate me and whatnot. Mitch Hanniger, Mariner's Relic. That's the name everyone remembers. He hate me who I believe is Rod Smith, who went on to play in the NFL. That's a really cool card, man. These reprints. Like another short print for Brandon Crawford of the Giants. On the back of the card, the last two numbers here where my thumb is, I can't really see it because of the focus, but it'll say code, and the last two numbers are what you're looking at. This is code 67. Well, now the NBA is going to be the uh, going to be in focus. Although hockey's still going on too. I think hockey is going to start playing uh, the postseason, I think. I don't know. I don't follow hockey. I do not follow hockey, so I, I really don't know. But this week, uh, the, Thursday is the last, uh, the trading deadline, I should say. In the NBA, everybody trying to make moves for Anthony Davis. I don't think anybody's going to get him, though. Like, what could you really offer for a man of that, of his talents? And you know, they want him, you know, they want him uh, in L.A. Next to LeBron, so you're probably going to have to give up everything to get him. Andrew uh, Kashner, Orioles 2019. So then you're going to have to go to, like, the local, the local rec, uh, rec league. And, you know, sign a bunch of 10-day contracts <laughs> to play with uh, LeBron and AD. Which is probably all you're going to need because that, that'll be a disgusting, disgusting team. Well, Joe Pa, hopefully, man. Hopefully. Got the Philly Stadium to 2019. Two boxes left on this. Nicholas Castellanos Tigers 2019. Little Braves Evolution insert there. Boom, boom, boom. Heading to an auction. 
Like a legit auction where you gotta get like you gotta put paddle boards in the air and stuff like that. Or at least that's what I think of. When I think of an auction. You know, fast talking cats. Uh yes sir, Chris. How's everything with you, man? I have two boxes left. This is Series 1 Hobby number 6. So after this, I have Revolution Basketball. Four box break number 25. And then we have Infinity Football. Five box break number 59. So after this, we'll probably have like 20 minutes of eBay breaks and then we're done. So I think around 6.30... We should be done with all the eBay stuff. And then we can work on the store. I don't really know what's close to filling. I think last time I checked, uh, Chrome Jumbo was the closest to filling. But again, I, I have to double check for that. How's everything with you, Chris? Did you watch the Super Bowl last night? <laughs> yeah, I think I think everybody took a nap. With the exception of maybe Patriot and Rams fans. I'm pretty sure everyone took a nap. It's still snowing where you're at. Snowing in Seattle for more more than an inch in seven years. Really? I thought it would snow a lot in Seattle, given uh, the conditions you guys have. I hear it's always snowing, and you are pretty, pretty, pretty up north. So I figured it would just be a normal thing. So seriously, it doesn't doesn't snow that often in in uh, in Seattle. I read somewhere that there were parts of Chicago that were that were uh, colder than the Antarctic, which is mind-boggling when you think about it. Raphael Davis, short print, code six seven. I would like to visit Seattle. I kind of want to go to Portland, too, in Oregon. I hear there's a lot of weirdos out there. And me being the number one weirdo, I think I'd get along. I think I'd, think I'd fit in. I'm still a little razzle-dazzled over the fact that you can't pump your own gas out there, but hey, you know, whatever. Norm McGuire, rookie reprint. Enrique Hernandez, Dodgers 2019. 
What day is today? Oh, it's Monday. <laughs> yeah, I had a good night last night. For the A's, the uh, Coliseum 2019. Note to self, man. Pack stack this stuff from now on, seriously. And if somebody could remind me moving forward, that would be lovely. Oh, so I got to go during the summertime, it sounds like uh, Chris. Duly noted. Nice. The uh, hat logo patch for Will Myers of the Padres. These are more prevalent in the Jumbos, but they're pretty sweet. I like the hat logo patch cards. Would be even nicer with some ink on them. The uh, Red Sox insert to 2019. Base cards or what? Yes, they are. Make sure they're national twenty nineteen. Red Sox Stadium to 2019. Alright, we got the last box coming up. We are almost there, y'all. Zach Godley, D Bags See the finish line. Let's just put all this uh, piece away here. Boom. Box Mojo. Come on. Open up a pack of top loaders. Let me check the store, see what we got close to filling. We got Court Kings at 20, Vanguard at 19, 
Gold Standards at 18. Chrome number 15 to 18. We have some absolute basketball in the store too. Number nine at 27. Jumbo number four is at 25. We have three jumbo cases left. Thank you, Marcello. Appreciate that, man. So we don't have any more football in the store. So it's looking like a basketball, baseball kind of night. So of course I'll drop fillers and stuff like that once I'm done with the eBay breaks. No football, JMS. Jason put that absolute basketball in the store earlier today. Uh, but we don't have any football. Otherwise, we would have put it in the store. Here we go. Good luck, everyone, especially those without a hit. Some of these cards I haven't seen before. So every now and then I like to look at the back just to make sure. I'm pretty good at catching the uh, short prints, so. though. And it's going to be Mariners 2019. Mm. I would like to see an autograph out of this. There was not an autograph in the first half of this case. All patches. So far it's been all patches in this stuff too. So at least one autograph. Series 1 jump uh, hobby. Well, you know, that, that'd be nice. Brewer Stadium to 2019. Brooks Robinson Orioles reprint. Polar Vertex, what is that? Is that what they're calling snowstorms now? Or blizzards or something? A polar vortex. We have uh, Logan Morrison of the Twins, 2019. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to buy like a coffee pot for the office. And the Pirates uh, Ballpark Evolution card. Michael Givens of the Orioles to 76. I could use some coffee. I just, I love coffee though. Like, I'm not the type of person like, oh, if you drink coffee, you're not going to be able to fall asleep. Man, like, no, I've been drifting, drinking coffee for a while now. I just like drinking coffee. It's like drinking hot tea. 
but you know, not like drinking tea. I, I need to get into drinking teas actually. That that stuff. I usually only drink it when I'm sick or something. Hey, there's an autograph for the Indians. Mike Clevinger, numbered 11 of 25. Very nice. So a polar vortex is uh, the code name for a huge cold front. Well, that's just people are just bored now. Just just call it a freaking cold front. Big ass cold front. That's what that's what that's what it should be called. Yeah, we got a big ass cold front coming in. <laughs> Oh snap, we got a big ass cold front coming, honey. We need to We need to go buy some firewood or whatever it is y'all do with that cold. I don't know how you guys handle all that cold. I would say come on down to Florida, but we got a lot of people here as it is. We we need to kick people out of Florida actually. I don't know how y'all live with with the with the cold. No sir, no thank you. David Price, Red Sox 2019. Right, like if you got a big ass cold front, you know, oh, it's a big ass cold front coming in. Oh, well, we got a little ass, <laughs> we got a little ass cold front coming. Don't even worry about it. Jaime Candelario, Tigers Flying for that one. Either I passed it, or I don't think I've seen a short print in this. Luckily, we do go through the stuff. You know, that's why I'm separating everything. And then, you know, we all go through it at the end again. Oh, there's the short print. Matt Chapman of the A's. Yes, we did, JMS. Yes, we did. Code 67 on that bad boy. So that is a short print. Yeah, there you go. The streak continues. At least one short print per box in the hobby. Series one. All right, my friends. That is going to do it for the break. Yeah, we made it. All right. So I got a few things I need to random here, but I'm going to do them very very easily because that's what I'm about I'm all about ease easy peasy lemon squeezy alright so this I have to random amongst all teams the uh, vintage cleats there's no team designation on that this one there's a team on the left and on the right and same as these however these I have duplicates uh, duplicates of so I'm gonna give one to each team alright we got a team on the left and on the right. So I'm going to random these. But again, each team will get at least one of each until, you know, we don't have any more. So anyways, I'm going to random this real simple. There's a team on the left and a team on the right. It's either going to go to the team on the left or the team on the right. So I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, it's going to go to the left side team. If I get an even number, it's going to go to the right side team. So that's odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Odd number three. So this will be Orioles, and this will be Angels. And again, I'll give one to each on these until uh, we run out or whatever. All right, so the left side team. So this will be Angels. This will be Orioles. And I need to write a note on here so my sorter knows to give one to each team. My sorters, I should say.
boom, done. Now this one's a little trickier. Because this one doesn't have a team designation, like I said. So we're going to random this thing amongst the entire uh, break. So if you have a team, you can win this. All right. So there's the random on the screen. I do need the teams. This is baseball. Copy and paste. You gotta love that function. All right. There we go. So how many times are we going to random this? Well, we got to roll a die for that. All right. We're going to go 12 times in the random. Here we go. Top team wins this uh, vintage cleat card. And everybody wants that. And the money shot 12. Boom, 12 times. Top team, the Phillies. So the vintage cleat card will go to the Phillies. Congrats. All right. Here it is. I wrote it all over your card so you can never forget me. All right. Recap time. So we have had logo patch for Will Myers of the Padres. That's not numbered. Mitch Hanniger to 150 for the Mariners. That is numbered. 3 of 150. Albert Pujols of the Angels. Not numbered. Albert Pujols of the Angels. Not numbered. And Salvador Perez Royals. Not numbered. Uh... We did get an autograph. All right. Mike Clevinger of the Indians. Cool looking card. Extremely hard to get a hit, uh, an auto in hobby. This was numbered 11 to 25. So there you go, Indians. Very nice. And of course, we got the usual short prints. Not for nothing. I don't think I missed any. Uh, I will go out on a limb and say that. But again, uh, I will go through the, all the other base cards as we usually do. Uh, to make sure that I didn't miss any. So anyway, Matt Chapman A's. These are all code 67, which are short prints. Davis Red Sox. Crawford Giants. Betts Red Sox. Scherzer Nationals. Bowers Rays. Tucker Astros. This one's not a short print, but it is numbered to 25. Eugenio Suarez. This is a short print, Conforto of the Mets, and another short print, Abreu of the White Sox. And a super short print for Reggie Jackson of the Yankees, looking oh so seductive. Very nice. And that's going to do it for the break, y'all. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.